in this session we are going to learn about hive what exactly is hive how map reduce is different or similar to hive hive introduction hive versus rdbms hive architecture hive basic vocabulary hive query language hive joins hive operations everything related to hive so this is the first introductory introductory session for hive so what exactly is hive so map reduce if you remember uh, what exactly is hadoop using our traditional database management systems or traditional data handling tools it was very difficult for us to manage big data so big data by definition itself a data set or a type of data that is very difficult to handle using traditional tools or conventional tools like sas or r or excel sql anything that is uh, used in day-to-day uh, -day life so therefore we have a framework called Hadoop that does two things effectively that is distribution dist distributed storage and distributed computation distributed storage is HDFS distributed Hadoop distributed file system distribution computation is uh, MapReduce so MapReduce is a kind of distributed computing where you first divide the whole uh, task into various uh, whole objective into various smaller tasks and then finally write a reduce program that will take the output of map as the input so HDFS is distributed file storage so we already discussed all of this in Hadoop introduction session after Hadoop introduction we went to map reduce and in map reduce we saw some programs map reduce word count program map reduce line count program map reduce average finding out so we did some map reduce program while writing map reduce programs we observed one thing we saw that hdfs and map reduce together are really fastening the processing data processing we have the map program we have reduce function we have map function using that we can definitely handle big data but the problem is the map reduce programs are not as easy as they look like if somebody provides us map and reduce program it's easy to execute them but if we ourselves need to write map and reduce functions it is difficult because map reducer the programs are written in java and you need to be a really expert in java to write map reduce code even if you are intermediate or less uh, i mean if you are just a beginner in java then you won't be able to write map reduce program MapReduce requires really Java expertise. So not everyone among us have Java background. In fact, we are all uh, here to go for data science or data uh, analyst uh, point of view. We are all having data analytics background. So it's very difficult to expect Java background for us that to Java expertise. So MapReduce is not that easy. Now, if you have a solution which is distributed storage and distributed computing and you have a programming model that is MapReduce but since we, uh, we don't have Java expertise we can't really use this whole Hadoop system and interact with Hadoop we can't write map and reduce programs in Java is there a way is there a way to make this MapReduce easy I mean writing map and reduce program for every algorithm is very difficult let's say if I want to find the average writing a map function writing a reduce function in Java is difficult I'm just taking an example simple example but I know SQL in SQL finding average is very simple I know SQL language and SQL even if somebody I mean even if you don't know SQL learning SQL is very easy or very very quickly within a week we can be an expert in SQL or at least we can reach the intermediate level so once you have SQL skill is there a tool that will convert automatically the SQL queries into map and reduce program is there a tool that made this map reduce easy yes there is a tool called hive hive is created to make the map reduce code easy what hive does hive is like SQL on top of Hadoop if you write SQL codes in Hive, Hive will understand your SQL code, create map and reduce functions, send it to Hadoop distributed file system, perform the analysis on the data, fetch 
the results back let's say in map reduce we wrote a huge line count program let's say 100 lines were there right in that program a simple sql query will be select count star from the table right simply if we write select count star that also means select the number of, or count the number of lines instead we have to write a huge map reduce code what we can do is in hive we can write select count star from table whatever is the table name when we execute that in hive hive automatically creates this map and reduce function so basically hive is a tool that makes our map reduce easy that converts our sql queries or that understands our sql queries and um, makes map and reduce programs and execute them on the files that are stored on hdfs so that is what hive is all about so hive is a tool that is a clear substitute to map reduce because we already decided that if we are not from java background then it is almost impossible for us to write map reduce programs or execute them or be very comfortable in solving the problem either you learn java properly then write your own map reduce programs or you find tools that will make your map reduce programming easy or that will help you to interact with hadoop by converting our uh, whatever scripted language here in this case sql language into map reduce and submit it to hadoop and fetch the results back so now we are going to learn about hive learning hive is almost like learning sql only you simply write the sql query in the background it will convert it to map reduce so we will see hive how hive works how can we store the big data on hdfs how hive takes the big data from hdfs how uh, where do we code in hive how how hive take commands and then execute them on big data that is what we are going to learn in this particular session